awesome honeydew list for you. You know what a honeydew is? Of course. Honeydew the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm so swollen, my wedding ring. <laughs> it is not going down. Then I'm like this. <laughs> Irrational fears that I have developed going into labor in public or like my water breaking in Target or something. <laughs> that would be that would be a great vlog. Let's not do that vlog. Let's not do that vlog. Hi guys, good morning. I'm just waking up. I know you're probably like, why do, you, why do I look like this? Well, I'm in that part of pregnancy where I have insomnia. I did not go to bed until I think it was 4.30. I don't know when I actually went to sleep, so my eyes are super puffy. I wanted to do a vlog today. A lot of you wanted to see a vlog. Adam went to meet with a client. He's going to golf today. So it's just me and I think I'm going to go run some errands. I have some things to take back, some things to pick up. I gotta get groceries. I also have some loose ends before I get too far into January <laughs> and still have my tree up, all that good stuff. Before the baby gets here, I gotta take all that down. So I thought I would try to knock it out all today. Even though I didn't sleep hardly at all, I feel like I have a drink caffeine. I'm wired. So hopefully we can get this show on the road. I guess I look somewhat presentable now. I don't know about you, but I never feel completely ready unless I have like my jewelry on. I wanna show you, like I'm so swollen, my wedding ring. <laughs> it is not going down. So we're not gonna wear that today, unfortunately. Okay, ready to go run some errands. Look at all this. I need to put my Christmas tree up. All of these boxes, all the rest of my decorations will go in. I've kind of already started and it makes me sad to put down my Christmas tree, but if the baby is coming, if he's coming soon in January, then I cannot be worried about all of our Christmas stuff still up, so. Let's go run some errands, come back, do some chores around the house, and get on about our day. I feel like I got hit by a bus, but um, we're going to push through it. Literally push through it. Officially at Target, I am going to try to not buy anything except the things that are on my list. I have a whole list of things that I need to get today and do today, so... The hardest thing is gonna be tackling Target without coming out with a bunch of random things. I am not gonna get any groceries here because I have some coupons for other places where I'm gonna get the majority of our groceries. Just kickstart our healthy eating, well, for Adam, because I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing until after the baby, and then I'll go into the healthy eating, but right now I'm all about lots and lots of carbs and lots and lots of sweets. So I'm not gonna do that to myself in this last uh, few weeks of being pregnant. Also, I was just thinking about this, some irrational fears that I have developed. And one of them is going into labor in public or like my water breaking in Target or something. <laughs> that would be, that would be a great vlog. Let's not do that vlog. Let's not do that vlog. Okay, <laughs> let's go into Target. One of the things I need are some drawer organizers for the baby, but they really don't have a lot. So I'm just gonna get these two and see how they do. I don't even know if that'll fit in his dresser, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I wasn't planning on getting a lamp, but I just remembered I need one for the baby's room and I think it's $40. If it is, I'm going to get it because it looks like this is either on sale or just marked down because everything else is 80 And I haven't seen a better tall lamp other than this for $40 or under $40. Okay, I spent more than what... <laughs> 
I knew I was gonna do that. I spent more than what I should have. However, I did get the baby nursery lamp. I did need that, that was on my list. So we'll see how it looks. I'm literally just so out of breath from walking. I was gonna go get my car cleaned today, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So that's, I'm just gonna wait till Monday to do that, Sunday or Monday to do that. I have a few returns. I need to go to Nordstrom, return a few things, and then get back to the house and start undoing all of my Christmas stuff. I finally made it back home. Every place I went to was so busy. I stood in line for my returns for at least 30 minutes every place I went, but I'm so glad I got it done. I also stopped at Buff City. They're having like a 20% off sale right now. So I loaded up on this because we've been out for a while. <laughs> I know you don't, you guys kind of don't know me that well, but I am down for a deal. I will wait until something goes on sale to get it. Buff City Soap, if you don't know what that is, it's a place where it makes soaps, laundry detergents that don't have any of those harsh chemicals in it. Adam loves the smell of fresh cotton. They also, it's really cool when you go into the store because they have people actually making the soaps and making all of this and it's all plant based. You know, washing the baby's clothes, I'm gonna wash uh, all of his clothes today and get them in his dresser. So I feel good about using this because it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. I think the narcissist is like their most popular scent. When I was checking out, the guy recommended he was a good salesman. <laughs> he recommended it, the Good Morning Sunshine has more of a citrusy smell. And when people stay with us, like our family comes into town, I like to wash their sheets in this because it just smells so great, but it's not overpowering. Also, if you have never shopped at Buff City before, I promise you, you are never going to use another bath bomb again never your body is like it feels so amazing like you just had a little like oil bath or something amazing so i had to get one of these but they're bath truffle bombs i got the narcissist body scrub the reason why i got the body scrub because i have everything else i have the oil of the soap i also got the fresh Adam, when I tell you this man that I married loves the smell of fresh cotton and laundry detergent, I even have a, a perfume called Fresh Cotton because he loves fresh cotton smell. I got it in the soap. I also got the Relax Soap Bar. It smells really good and I got this because Adam, when he takes a shower at night, he really does need to relax. <laughs> and so it's a relaxing scent. He's super sensitive to scents. So if I get something that has like, makes you feel awake, he can't, he can't do that. He literally will be awake. He's that sensitive. This is the Egotist. I just got this because it smelled manly. And I got this tote. I just wanted to show you guys that. Also, if you, the guy told me this today and I didn't know this, to bring the container in, you get a discount even on top of the sale. Had I known that, I wouldn't have thrown away our empty one. It really did last us a long time. So two uh, tablespoons per load. Now that I'm home, I'm gonna go inside and get busy with all the things that I need to do. So let's go. Okay, I've kind of let Tom get away from me. Adam's brother came over. Um, he's borrowing my car. He came over on his motorcycle. So, I started getting hungry. And the only thing, I swear to you, pregnancy cravings are supposed to stop by now. The only thing I want to eat are eggs. I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's pretty interesting just how weird pregnancy can be. I also crave milk. He never kept 2% milk in the house. Drank so much of it. And it actually, the, the milk has helped with my restless legs. I've had really bad restless legs. I've always had restless legs, but being pregnant, it has gone out of control. Like I can't sleep at night. Plus I have insomnia and nothing seems to help except a big glass of milk, which is also a catch-22 because that just means I'm getting up even more using the bathroom. Anyway, the baby wants eggs. I don't even like eggs when I'm not pregnant, never have. Could barely even stomach to eat them. Now I just, I'll, I cannot get enough. <laughs> it's weird. 
Okay, I was going to sit here and chat before I start on the Christmas, putting all the Christmas stuff up, but I just realized you probably don't want to see me eat because I don't want to watch people eat and like mouth noises and all of that. Uh -uh. <laughs> also, I'm really missing Boaz. He's not here. He's at training. I just really miss him and his little coming down the hallway, his little click, click, click of his nail. But he's at training. He's training for all things baby. Okay, let me eat. We'll get back at it. Okay, I've already cleaned off all of my Christmas decor off of my table, but I don't have all my stuff out to decorate my table. I don't know really what I want to do because it's still, even though it's 80 degrees here in Dallas, I still want to have some kind of like in the season because it is going to drop in temperature. It just hasn't yet. I have a few things that I could do. So I'm just going to play with the tablescape really quick and see what I like, see what I don't. I think I'm done. All of this stuff I'm putting in here are things from last year's Christmas that I didn't use on our tree this year. I'm just gonna have Adam pack all this up until I'm ready for spring. I may do like a table runner or something, like I have a sparkly table runner I may put up there, but for right now, this is fine. For not spending any money and just using what I have, that's it. I think you can't beat it, so this is what we're gonna do. Moving on to our tree. I already took all of that off. That's why my tree looks so bare. I saw this hack on TikTok where you just buy some of this project foam and I got this at Walmart. And you just cut it and you lay it in a bin. Just layer it. So you would do foam, then you'll do the ornaments, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. It's bunching, but it'll work. Don't want you to freak out me taking this tree down because people kind of freak out when I lift heavy things. This is so not heavy and it's so easy to <laughs> undo. So instead of waiting till Adam gets home, I'm just gonna do it myself. So don't freak out, it's so light and it comes off super easy. Also, while I've been cleaning, I was like, okay, what's my New Year's resolution gonna be? This is the first year I haven't had one. I always do a word of the year. So I'm not gonna do that. This is the first year I've never had a written down planner. I'm doing it all digital. Didn't even order a new planner. I usually, if you even look back in like July or August, I posted a plan with me. I used to do that every single weekend. Like that was my Sunday routine, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna be able to sit down and do that anyway coming up soon. So we'll see how that goes. I will say this, I am very happy that I had a written down planner for all of last year because there, it's kind of like a memory book because I wrote down like every appointment I had for the wedding, every baby appointment, like there were so many things. Um, I'm glad I did have a written down planner for the memories I can look back on this like crazy year. But yeah, moving forward. It's all digital. I apologize in advance how terrible the lighting is in here. Let's just try to see if these cubes will work. Okay, I flipped you around for a second. This is his actual changing station. So this is where I'll be pulling some stuff from. But this little box has diapers, wipes, creams, all the things in it too. So I'm kind of organized there. You can see here, there's like I diapers and everything. I just have to organize. But this thing is an actual bar car I found at Home Goods. I think I paid not even like a third of the price for it. My mom found it again online. It was like over a thousand dollars. I just could not believe it. So good <laughs> at picking stuff out that are on, that's on sale. And like, I just lucked into this when I first got pregnant. I was like, I know it's a boy and I wanna do his uh, room in airplanes. So anyway, just wanted to show you that. It was super cool. Let me flip you over. 
All right, I'm washing a lot of his clothes right now, but here's his socks, his hats, and some other things that are gonna go in here that are either in the wash or I just don't have out yet. These are all burp cloths. So maybe I'll do diapers here, but this works. I'll have this big bin too. I still have the fold, fold out one too, like right there. I'm gonna watch some videos to see how other moms organize their drawers. I'm gonna put maybe his onesies in here. I know he won't be in newborn for very long. This drawer this will be all of his zero to three. This isn't like a nursery tour or anything like that. I just want to show you this area and kind of what I'm thinking. We have a like a stand coming in instead of this. This just came out of um, one of our other bedrooms, including this lamp right here, was already here when this was an office. So I wanted a taller, longer lamp. So, and it's, this one is adjustable. So I'm just gonna put this together and see if it works in this area. Um, I'm planning, once we get our other like stand here, I'm planning on putting essentials in there. So if I'm rocking him, feeding him, whatever, have like a breastfeeding section. And then um, hopefully I can breastfeed. And then we have some blankets over here. I got this one at TJ Maxx for $7, little airplanes on it. But anyway, that's kind of what is going on over here. So let me see if I like how this looks. I just decided I wasn't gonna put that together. I'm gonna make Adam do it because he's better at it. <laughs> and he's on his way home, so. There he is. How is golf? Good. What are you vlogging about? <laughs> My day. And now you're here. And do people find your day quite entertaining? I don't know. I haven't posted it yet, but probably not. It's been, just been filled with running errands and baby stuff. And now... Well, I'm the husband, so for all of you who have been asking... <laughs> and the, the dad. I'm the man behind uh, <laughs> this lovely woman. Adam's making his little dinner, dinner since I already ate my eggs. <laughs> I told everybody about my egg craving. Oh boy. Okay, fun fact about Adam, he always stands to eat. <laughs> Unless I make him sit down. He'll always have a snack. He'll have like chips and guac or chi chips and- I usually do my snack standing up and I eat sitting down. Yes, yeah, so I'm he hungry. has a snack before dinner all the time. This is just his, his moving and grooving. This is what Adam does. So yep. what are you having over there? I got these from Trader Joe's. Really like these, by the way. These grain-free chips or grain-free chips. Okay, noted. We're gonna do a Whole30 diet starting in T-minus two days. Well, you are until I have the baby, and then I'll join you. No. But I did need to make a grocery list. Um, speaking of, I guess I can show everybody the cookbook that I'm gonna use to make the grocery list. I have two of these books. It just came out. Here, this is the book that. I'm gonna use, this is Alex. She works out with Adam at Strive, or sorry, Vive. Vive. Strive is where Adam works. <laughs> Vive Strive. Oops, I need the other one. Okay, so I already marked in here all of the Whole30 recipes. You can see right here. And then I, uh, you can explain it probably better than I can. Whole30 is basically, where it's pretty much no gluten, no dairy, and no processed foods for 30 days. So you can see it's gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, 30, gluten-free, vegetarian. She lists them all like that. And then these little coffee sticky notes are the ones that Adam said he wanted to try. So I'm gonna make the grocery list out of his sticky notes. We did it last year for the whole month of January. But you feel good. Yeah, you Your body feel really feels good. tight, your gut health is good. Okay, Bo's trainer just sent Adam a video because Adam was checking up on him, so let's see what he's up to today. Oh, look at him. He's so good. <laughs> He's so good with the stroller. Yes. Easy. 
Too cute. I've said this before on our Instagram, but he loves Will. He loves his trainer. A lot. Like when Will, he doesn't even miss us, I don't think. When Will comes to pick him up, he's just like in the tr I mean, he's ready to hop in his car. So. so let's talk about Will. His name is Will Durham, and he owns a dog training and boarding facility <clears throat> outside of here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And he has a house that's like on three acres outside of Dallas, and it's the perfect place to let your dog just go and either train or board if you're gonna be gone for a week or a weekend or whatever. Yeah. So he has been and such a lifesaver. He's really uh, great priced. Feels so, so good. So yeah. just a shameless plug there for Will. <laughs> okay, now that I have Adam here, I have some honeydew list for you. You know what a honeydew is? Of course. Honeydew the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so the first thing is I bought a new lamp for the baby's room. Okay. And I need you to put that together to see if I like it in there. Okay. Because it's a tall hanging one. And then the other thing is we gotta put the bassinet together. Okay. The bassinet probably Do we need needs tools? to be put up today. Do we need tools? I don't know, I haven't opened it, so. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> We're not, my, pro my projects are much bigger, so. Oh, one more. Mm-hmm. We need to do your hospital bag video. Okay. And um, just get you ready for the hospital too. Cause it could be any day. It can be any day. Little man's ready to come out. So that's all I have for you. All right. I'm ready. ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, dad. <laughs> Good work. He's ready. Put a little pressure on the inside too, of like laying him in it. Okay, perfect. Are you gonna spin him like that? Yeah. Like earthquake. I'm gonna spin him like this. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Now, are you ready for project two? Do you want to do Christmas or you want to do the lamp? Do you hear that? Typing? That's Adam working again. And it's the weekend. And it's, what time is it? Almost nine? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. But I have to kind of peel him off the computer because he'll work nonstop. But, okay, do you want to wrap up, Adam? Let's Say goodbye. Let's do it. Bye-bye, everyone. We're about to finish this thing and get it over with. Finish what? The honeydew list. Oh, you want to do the lamp? Let's do the lamp and get it over with. Okay, and then we'll say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>